Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to another chapter of Books and Brown Liquor. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for my returning viewers. I appreciate you. All right, let's talk about these books. This video is my book review of, ah, I'm so excited, The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. Okay, for those of you that don't know, right? For those of you that don't know, Lisa Jewell, I love her. Lisa Jewell's writing, I'm so compatible with it. I love it. I think she's a great storyteller. She just weaves you into this world of like you are completely captivated into all the craziness that's going on in her books. This book did not disappoint. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say The Disappearance. The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. First of all, before I get into anything, best epilogue ever. Period. Best epilogue ever. All right, cool. So what's it about? Okay, okay. All right. Whew. So the night she disappeared, it is about a young woman by the name of Tallulah. She is a young mom and college student. And her and her boyfriend slash the father of her kid. It's a Friday night. They decide they're having a date night. You know, Tallulah's been working hard in school. You know, she's been working hard taking care of her baby with her mom's help, of course, because, you know, they live with her mom. She goes out for a date night, never to return. She just doesn't come back. Okay. So like that's in itself is already hello. Like anyway, so this book is written from three different timelines in true Lisa Jewell fashion, three different timelines, but they all weave together to create this story that intrigues you. But her writing style, it the way it, um, she doesn't hit you over the head with all the crazy stuff right away. She kind of leads you along this path. And then this starts to weave in and then this starts to weave in. And then like, by the time you get to the end, you're like, oh shit, okay? That's what Lisa Jewell does to you. Anyway, Tallulah and Zach, they go out for a date night, never to be seen. They do not return home. Immediately, like any mother, Tallulah's mother, she knows something isn't right. Tallulah is responsible. She's a good girl. She's a good mom. There is no way Tallulah would just run off and not come back. <sighs> so I, I just feel so, because a lot of the story is told from the perspective of Tallulah's mom. And uh, it's so heartfelt because I can't imagine what she is going through. So Lisa Jewell does a really good job of capturing the emotions of this mom. So the other timeline is from a woman named Sophie a couple years later. Sophie moves into a cottage with her boyfriend and it's in the same small town in the UK. It's in the same small town where Tallulah and her boyfriend disappeared a few years prior. And Sophie's settling in. She's a writer, by the way. And she's settling into her new home and she goes for a walk in the garden and there's a little cardboard sign that says, dig here. That's peculiar. So Sophie starts digging, not only literally, but figuratively. And she decides she is really not gonna rest until she finds out what happens to these two missing teenagers a couple years prior. So she takes it upon herself to just join the investigation, conduct my own investigation because Clearly she has nothing else to do. <laughs> She's not a bad character, but she does play a very pivotal role in this story, okay? So I don't wanna to say too much about the plot, but Tallulah, and, and you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? It's like with Lisa Jewell and with a lot of mystery books, but especially with Lisa Jewell, the person you always think is the one that did it, it's never, it's never what you think it is. So anyway, uh, without giving away too much, another timeline in the story is Tallulah's interactions before this, you know, this horrible night takes place. I will say, without saying too much, I'm trying my best because 
this book I really think you have to read on your own to get the gist of everything. I don't want to give away too much. But what I will say, everything that happens in this book, I could not put this book down. It was so good. This is a five-star book for me, okay? It is a five-star book. I love Lisa Jewell. She did not disappoint. She writes characters that you really care about. Like she writes characters that you really care about. Not only the missing girl and the mom, but like the characters around them. So she does a really good job of really engrossing you in this story. She does a great job of scene building, world building, and like suspense. She really, not, is, it, is suspense the word? I don't know if suspense is the word, but like, like I said, she doesn't hit you over that. It's not a fast paced ride, but the story is paced slowly enough, but it, it progresses to the point where it builds this, this ominous atmosphere where you know something's happened, you know something is coming, but you just don't know what. You don't know what's coming. You feel something coming and she just takes you along this path. And then in the end, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. It comes together. Okay, I'm at six minutes. I know I'm right. I, I know, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, I love Lisa Jewell. She is a master at what she does. Okay. She is a master at the who done it, what happened to her type of mystery. The first book I read by Lisa Jewell was uh, Then She Was Gone. <sighs> that shit blew my mind. I've been hooked on Lisa ever since. That's one of my favorites. I will say this is probably one of my favorites, The Night She Disappeared. So if you don't get the point, I, I, I think you get it. I love the book. She does a good job. And like I said, like I said, best epilogue ever. Okay, like when I read the end of, when I read the epilogue and I was like, oh, jaw on the floor. Best epilogue ever. All right, you get the point. Five stars, The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. For those of you that haven't read it, check it out. If you're a Lisa Jewell fan, you'll love this. Period. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.